I want to stay with Secretary Salazar uh, and who he is and what has happened in his uh, department. Joining me now is Bill Galston. He's a former policy advisor uh, to President Clinton and currently a senior fellow in governance studies at the Brookings Institution. Uh, Bill, uh, great for you to join us. Pleasure. And uh, would you say, is it a safe characterization that Secretary Salazar has dropped the ball here in his department? Well, he knew or should have known when he took office that MMS was a mess. Uh, there was an I. That it was well documented. Right? Well documented. There was an inspector general's report handed to his predecessor in August of 2008 that made it very, very clear that there was corruption and double dealing at MMS. And it doesn't seem to me that there was much of a sense of urgency. Uh, once Why don't you think there was? Why wasn't there that sense of urgency? I honestly don't know the answer to that question, uh, but the Secretary of Interior is always in the business of balancing the energy interests against environmental and other interests, and in retrospect, it looks as though Secretary Salazar tilted too much in favor of the status quo with the energy interests and not enough in favor of cleaning things up. Right, that pendulum swung too much in one direction. What do you make right now of the changes he's outlined? You separate the regulatory side, the safety side of, uh, of MMS versus versus the income side, the royalty side. This is an agency that takes in uh, more money than any other federal agency except the IRS. Yes, nearly $14 billion a year. MMS had a conflict of mission from the very beginning. You know, it was supposed to maximize royalties at the same time that it was supposed to guide and regulate the industry. And it, it never really managed that conflicting mission very well, and it all came out in the wash. Mm -hmm. So Secretary Salazar has rightly, if belatedly, proposed to clean things up by splitting MMS up into a series of sub-agencies, each one with a single coherent mission. But that should have been done at the very beginning. Does that go far enough? Uh, we'll see, but it's certainly a big step in the right direction. Uh, Bill, you know, to, to just sort of play the other side, okay, um, with Secretary Salazar, and, and just, you know, he's getting a lot of criticism right now, but I bet if you really dug into every single federal agency here in Washington and really did investigations in all of them, you'd find something wrong, I bet. I'm just saying. You know, there's, there's not everyone is going to work properly. You know, are we being unfair about Ken Salazar, you know, about Secretary Salazar and what he has been or not been able to do? Good question, but I think you have to consider the context. President Obama, as a candidate, ran as the candidate of change, changing the way Washington does business. And I think people had a right to expect that in every single department and agency, there would be a change agent in control, or at least in a very powerful position. Uh, and in the Department of, of the Interior, it doesn't appear as though the forces of change were really empowered. Uh, the head of MMS that Ken Salazar brought in was a perfectly decent person with you know, it's a good substantive preparation for the job, but clearly not strong enough to be an effective change agent. And she paid the price. We'll see whether Ken Salazar does. Right. I mean, in your view, though, in the end, is he, though, can he redeem himself to become the change agent for this for this department? Or do you think that there has Obama has to appoint somebody else in that position? Uh, I think that President Obama has pretty strong motives for wanting to retain him, if possible. You know, this is, after all, someone who gave up a Senate seat right. to serve the president. He is also a high-ranking uh, Latino in the president's cabinet. I think the president will have to think twice or even three times before dismissing him. Before pushing him out. Okay. All right, Bill. Great to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. That was Bill Galston of the Brookings Institution talking about Interior Secretary Ken Salazar.